Hello everybody and welcome back to Evil Aurora Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your humble host Tim. In the previous session uh, we managed to locate this lovely vial of rune powder as well as completely stealing this massive barrel of rune powder which I think we'll use when we meet up with Auntie Ethel. I think I might just blow her the fuck up to see what happens there. However, uh, before we get to that, uh, we've got to dig uh, near out of the hole. Oh, we also uh, did the Adamantine Forge uh, and made Aurora a very sexy pair of uh, Adamantine Rapiers. Uh, and now Astarian is rocking the pair of uh, Githyanki short swords. So let's go and deal. The slowest of you lot is getting tossed to a rope in yeah. heat. Oh shit. That I didn't expect. <laughs> uh, is he on our side or not? Down goes Aurora. Let's try that again. <laughs> this time, we don't throw the powder quite so far. One sparky little blow. Blast the thing to bits! Alright. Where'd it go? Oh, that's great. Oh. There we go. All right, everyone, over here. Blast the thing to bits. Just be patient. Making sure no one else gets blown up. My companions. I'm getting myself into position. Shut the fuck up. I could get used to this. Blast the thing to bits. Ignis. Hooray! Coming out now. Finally, worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. <sighs> Does not fail. Yes, finish the slaves, true soul, for the absolute. As you say. Jill loomed in. Beldron! No! Hmm? Got some good powers there. Therein, the absolute gave you 
everything. And this fiasco is how you reward her. Me and mine worked flat out. I was cracking the whip day and night. Tell him, true soul. Um. Yes, you were lazy, Thryn. Without me, Nair would be dead. No, no! I did everything right! <sighs> Nair pities you, Thryn. Your errors and excuses. And your sorry end. Damn, boy! You see your own face through Nier's eyes. Worthless, every last one. Their failures must be punished. True soul, take their heads. The absolute commands it. Uh, if you insist, good sir. Show them no mercy. Their corpses will make a fine offering to our mistress. All right, Lazel. Who do we have here? Nibble nibble. He's happy and he's bloodless. Uh, as Darian's vampiric hunger has been temporarily sated, plus one to. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, and Nair's actually on our side now. That's cool. Shooting evil Aurora. Coerced. Oh, that's cool. She's now on our side. Time to press ahead. That healed him? Very strange. Here. 
Hooray! This was meant to be a simple operation. I arrive, those pack animals clear the debris, and I walk into the temple. Instead, I've been beset by incompetence, treachery, and now this? The Absolute's business remains unfinished. Uh, and what uh, business is that exactly? My charge was to report to Balthazar in the Sharan Temple. But, as you can see, the way is blocked. I need you to deliver a message. A request to the General for reinforcements so I may complete his mission. Uh, and where can I find this General? The General resides at Moonrise Towers, but you cannot simply travel there. The land surrounding the towers is blighted by a deadly curse. Uh, well, if you survived, I'm sure I shall. I had a moon lantern to keep the curse at bay. Alas, the rocks did it in. But if you seek out Minthara, at the goblin camp, she can organize a guide to take you there safely. Whatever you do, do not attempt the journey without protection. I promise you, it will not end well. Uh... Alright, I'll tell the general what happened here. Do not tarry, and do not fail. I'll be waiting. All right. Still breathing. Despite everything. So I've got basically no health to take him out. But hey, he's here as like a quest That's giver now. So if I want to kill him and take his head, uh, I can just do that at my own leisure now, which is kind of cool. I don't know why he was so aggressive the first time I encountered him. It was kind of weird. Ooh. It looks shattered on hit. Okay. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Alright, we'll send that to the camp. What's this armor? Ah, ring mail. Nice. A honeyed ham. I will send that to the camp. Ah, the Elder's Journal. I will read that. Uh, the clan's gone soft. Maybe even me. No way round it. I spent ten tides of the dark lake within, uh, with my head held to the exile. Well, I spent twenty tides to pick up uh, and shovel in hand, mining for steel for a dun spirit, and for seven tides I stood motionless between the block of stones till uh, Thundals released me, and I was forged in Lutzka's fires. I learned to toil without complaint. I expect no reward without effort. Lord Ago is the taskmaster. We are his workers, that is the way. Uh, Fifty wet seasons have passed since the Thaldors refused to admit me. Uh, for forty of them, Thryn would have uh, lifted mountains herself if Ludagar willed it. Now she came slaves at the behest of this drow. The so called absolute uh, magma will drown him in that ale of his. The night terrors don't claim him first, and me, I'll toil for the exile. But 
Till I see a mountain of coin, I won't lift a damn finger for Thrin or that shit grin there she's been fawning over. Alright. Ring of Absolute Force. Uh, that's pretty cool. What's inside? Ah, so that was the one without a face. So I was curious about that. Ooh. Deed of Ownership. Uh, let it be known that uh, from the uh, the Firelands, the Iron Hand Gnomes, the Blessing of the Shield, Golden Hill, to take possession of these tunnels, open places, of people's contents, under territories beneath the Western Heartlands. Uh, ignore this deed under penalty of imprisonment or death. Oh. Cool. Right, let's just take that. In fact, we'll take everything in that chest. That's fine. Well, on that spectacular note, we definitely need a long rest because we are beat to absolute shit. We have no healing potions. It's a miracle we managed to survive that if it wasn't for uh, the lovely Nair there. So, uh, let us go and end the day. Yes. Uh, no one has anything to say? Astarian, where are you, dude? Don't waste the step. Oh, there's Astarian. I'm trying to work out, where's the fourth? But I'm the fourth, so... <laughs> Alright, that looks like it's just sleep time. Good. Oh good, another uneventful night. I had an arranging function. Watch your back. There is work to do. Never a dull moment. All right. Um. So where did Nair go after we had our rest? How much farther can I go? That's the smoke powder reserve. That's what we found. So that's a shame, we no longer have the opportunity to actually take out Nair, if that's the case. Uh, let's take the cool skiff back. Put my hands on everything. 
Actually, now why do I even bother with that? It's stupid. I can just travel back. Um. All right. Well, I guess. All right. Well, I got some bad news to deliver to a uh, a deep gnome in the uh, the Mykonid village. Fool of my dear, I'm afraid all of your friends are dead. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? Um, they're all dead, but your kin did not survive. They're, they're dead. I'm alone. No. Uh. Yes, what did you expect? You left them behind. I should have been with them. I should have died with them. Oh, leave me. Um. These boots have seen everything. Glut, my friend. I need a quick word. Circle Glut is eternal. Sure. All right. You guys do realize you got a couple of dead members of the Society of Brilliance in here. All right. Um, so let's have a look at the quest. What have I got left to do? All right, so uh, yes, so we killed Helson. That's fine. Uh, find the Githyanki Crash. We learned where the crash is located. Reach the Moonrise Towers. We know that one there. Rescue the Grand Duke. Um, we learned the Grand Duke was captured by Drow and taken westward, which I imagine is out of the function there. Uh, we still haven't done Nair's head, which is fine. Find the mushroom picker. Oh, yeah. Free the ar artists. Yes, we haven't run into him again. Finish the masterwork weapon. Okay, so we've got the Sousa Bark. Now we need to head back to the forge. All right, so let's go and do that. So we, hey, we completed the Wizard of Waterdeep because he left. He won't be coming back. Yeah, fuck you, Gale. Uh, all right. We discovered the location to get the Yankee Crush. It's nested in the mountains beyond the Western Bridge. All right. Oh. Oh, hang on. Let's just do that then. So let's. Oh, hang on. Uh, so let's fast travel. Let's go back to the Blighted Village. So hang on. So where is the... Where's the crash located? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, down that path we can't go. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Uh... Right, okay. So we've got to go. Where is the forge again? Down here. Let's see what this does. Time to press ahead. I'm trying to remember, I think it was like a sickle, a dagger and a short sword, maybe? We'll see if a dagger worked. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Uh... Mark is in case. Now for a 
Great sword, dagger, or sickle. Great sword, dagger, or sickle. All right, cool. Uh, what do we have? We have daggers. At least I've got one of those. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. <laughs> A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. Uh, okay, so it's a plus one. It doesn't appear to do anything else. Uh, hmm. Well, it is a very sexy looking weapon, so there we go. Here you are, Astarian. Careful. I mind. A new blade for you, sir. Keep a blade close. So it must do something else that it's not uh, not showing us at the moment. Hmm. Oh. Move is. All right. Okie dokie. So it looks like everything apart from Nia's head. Maybe learn more about Helson. I guess we can probably go back to the. It there so I guess at this stage really all there is left to do is to go meet up with the hag now I think the trick here will be to see whether or not we can actually gain her favor I doubt that's going to be anything we'll be able to do but it should prove interesting um, the other idea could be of course to uh, once we deal with her, actually go back and just completely uh, murder the goblin village since they've now been told to There's be enemies of ours, but that has to be something just to do to kill Should time, really. Have to keep going. So I think for this argument, what we're going to do is we'll be siding with her rather than the brothers so ready do you harass every old lads for the love of all that is holy i've never clapped eyes on your poor sister drop the act hag you was the last to see me rena just let her go please you there please i don't know what's come over these boys i just want to go home the old woman's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this! We we won't ask again. Um. Lower your weapons, men. She's just an old woman. Sweetie, be careful. He's with the hag. Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get him. <laughs> oh my stars! I I didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, 
Oh, what did happen? It sounds like a heated argument. Those poor boys were looking for their little sister, Marina. The girl who is staying with me. Ah, I see. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing will be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Ooh. I haven't spent much time with helpless old ladies. Was that long? Uh... No, um, she's more than a frail maid. That sly old crone. <laughs> At least we got to kill someone, I suppose. It's true. We probably gave those two idiots an easier death than whatever she had planned for them. Hmm. No doubt, no doubt. Another step forward. Uh, this is the dear John and Don't get mad. I mean it. I've only da -da 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 -da. yeah. She's heading off to go see Auntie Ethel. All right. Ooh. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. I shall use my Ranger Nature ability. Ha-ha! Ooh! You blink, and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults Ugh. your senses. <laughs> oh, fetid bog, all right, sorry. Well, they said bag for a second. One day I'll catch a break. Now, now I'm fairly certain there's traps in this water. Trap. Be cautious. I was literally just don't step on them. Moving ahead. I wonder if the gods are watching me. So that's right near the Nautiloid crash, so it's actually very close. That's the bit there. Time to press ahead. These boots have seen everything. I don't think I've ever been to this area before. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? This is actually new. I've never actually been here before. Swift as my feet can carry me. So the dagger casts silence. So people can't cast spells. That's the anti magic ability. Ha 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 ha! Interesting. Jeez, these bloody methods keep summoning more of these bastards. Uh, cleave. Here we go. Woad. Oh, wrong person. Never mind. Who's next? 
There we go. Let's get going. Best be on my way. What's hiding here? Oh, that's cool. An organic shield. I'm actually curious. Can I? Alright, so I can't jump up there. What about you, Lazel? No, can you Misty step up there? No, okay, so there's not an option to get up there. I was thinking maybe we could get up there and use the idol of Sylvanus, maybe make the tree grow back or something. Hmm. Must be the tree from the note to Korga. What's that cleft there? Ooh, a wooden cleft. Ooh. Kaga, older than a sent word of your progress. I'm pleased the Rite of Thorns has begun. I depart soon from the Cloakwood to Baldur's Gate. Should you need further aid from my circle, now it's time to ask. Uh, I've once cloistered the Emerald Grove, will be the Shadow Druid's domain for you, its first druid. Ah. Time to press ahead. Interesting. Very well. So this was the uh, no traps, please. that evil druid from the. If not over, then through. From the beginning of the game, this is like her secret plan. <laughs> God damn it, Aurora! Stop walking into the traps. Watch how you go. <laughs> you dumb shit. No one stopped me yet. <sighs> Be wary. This place is trapped. You may be evil, Aurora, but you're still a fucking idiot. Look, a trap. Ah! A trap! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Traps! Traps everywhere! But you possibly try not to hit every single one of them! Rotting. Ah oh, man, now we're diseased. <sighs> Great. Now we got gangrene from this damn swamp. How much farther can I go? Uh, let's just wait this out then. Indolence breeds madness. Good lord, now Lazel has got flesh rot. I said, we have a scroll for this? This is getting ridiculous. Ah, actually, hang on, I know what to give her. 
But we have... Yep, all right, that didn't work. Nope, all right, we just gotta wait. Is that blood? No, never mind. Poor Lazelle, like she's turning into a friggin' zombie over here. Rot. Oh my god! <laughs> Lizelle's literally a zombie. Good god, how do we stop this? Good god, alright. So it appears that Lazelle is now a permanent zombie. So, let's see if this guy has anything we can use before we kill him. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Uh, I will say nothing. And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters, the list goes on. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Uh, well, if I were a cutthroat, I wouldn't admit it either. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astari. <laughs> but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Um, and if you find the Sestarian, you will kill him. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Uh, only a spawn? Uh, pity, uh, not like a real vampire. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if you felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. Uh, yes, I'm sure they can keep right up on you. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Um... Alright, kill him if you have to. Excellent. The vampire? It can't be.
someone inside out. To the death. Blood comes easy these days. Oh, shit. Hello, Lazel. What's up with you? I know you're dying. Sage choice. Astarian skills serve us well. A pity I won't get to see him dragged off by his heels, though. I'm standing right here. <laughs> yes. Well, Astarian is a friend. Let me owe him our loyalty. Astarian is not a friend. He is a tool, nothing more. Oh. If he outlives his usefulness, you can dispose of him as you wish. For the love of God, is there anything that you can use to cure? All right, let's move. Come on, Lazel. I know you've got flesh rot. Maybe the the hag can help us out. smell assaults your nostrils dead flesh lies below a great deal of it hmm. no I'm not gonna drink from the well fuck off <laughs> not crazy best be on my way oh hooray Lazelle's finally shaken off the flesh rock father can go. Auntie Ethel knock knock we've come for tea I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. <sighs> You're eating for two. Not the wooden spoon. It. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? Thank you. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Your head nearly went all the way backwards. Uh, well, I'm glad you got here safely. Thanks to you. You know, you're lucky. You've helped a very powerful lady. Oh, really? People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. Really? And I do my best damnedest to help them. Ooh. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. Oh, really? That regular swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Uh, so how'd you know about that? Because you stink. Oh. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Uh, well, it depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. Uh. One of your pretty little peepers. No. I'll pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh You want one of my eyes, but why exactly? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Sure. Uh you know, I'll just try my luck elsewhere. Ethel! Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. Whoa. And you, my door is always open, Petal. 
and Yetl is here for you. Thanks, Aunt Yetl. You crazy bitch. I can just walk into homes now. <laughs> this gets better and better. Okay. To keep going. So that was painless. Another step forward. Mm. Ooh, yes, please. Ah, toasty warm. Spoiled treacle tart. Oh, it's sad. Fireplace isn't real. What's hidden behind it? Well, the last time I tried to go through a hidden doorway, people got very angry at us and tried to kill us. Shadow heart, don't you fucking dare get out of the fire. What's next, I wonder? Aurora, get out of the fire, you turd! Ooh, a crude chest. Um, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, because I have it. <laughs> uh, Hello again. Astarian, yes, my friend. You so put that there. All right. Yes, let's. Oh shit! Everyone else died except for <laughs> That's hilarious. Again, just for the hell of it, let's see what happens if we light on my feet. Oh, Auntie Ethel doesn't get angry at us. Well, that's good. Ah, okay. Cannot fast travel enemies nearby. Maybe down here, Aunt Ethel will get angry at us. With haste. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Right. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Uh. Oh, okay. Forgive me. I'll leave right away. You. Or I'll cut you into little pieces and serve you with a slice of lemon. Ah. Hmm. What's that? Wait. Wait. So let me A question will <laughs> a cursed staircase, yeah. So is Auntie Ethel still up here? Swift as my feet can carry me. No. 
No. All right. So she only gets upset if we actually go go down there to deal with uh, with Marina. Actually, did she sell anything? Hello, sweetness. You're going to give me one of those precious peepers. Um. No, it's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. I just wanted to see if you were selling any potions or anything. As you wish. But should you change your mind, you know where to find me. Indeed I do, Auntie Ethel. Yeah, because I thought since she says trader of quirks and sundries, she might actually have, like, potions and things to sell. Okay. Well, uh, so it looks like we're done here. Because... If I go downstairs, she gets really angry at me, understandably so, because I'm trespassing in her house. Um, if not only, and I no longer need a cure for Lazelle's zombification, which is good. The ready. It just managed to randomly clear itself up quite nicely. Um, So I guess, really, let's have a look. There isn't a great deal else to do. Because we've got... So we've still got... Get help from Auntie Ethel and find the Githyanki Crash. We've done basically everything else, so so hide completed. Uh, so we did that one, did that one, did that one. Uh, so I guess rest. Ah, uh, so maybe some additional information. I guess we might need to go back to the the Druid Grove. Uh, oh, and deliver Nier's head. That's the only other option. Only other thing we've got to do. So, I guess... Uh, that's where we'll leave today's session. And I guess next time, it's just going to be a massive killing rampage. We're just going to try and slaughter our way through uh, all of the goblins at the goblin camp and uh, take out Nier. But, uh, yeah. For now, that's where we're going to leave it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble host, Tim. And be sure to come back for the next session of Evil Aurora Plays Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs>